monster deal out of the NBA where former Suns head coach Monty Williams has agreed to a mega deal with the Detroit Pistons to become their next head coach. The deal reportedly north of $70 million over six years, the largest coaching contract in NBA history. Williams, who earned coach of the year last season, was fired by the Suns after their second round exit. He replaces Dwayne Casey, who moved from the bench to a role in the front office. Monty Williams, a developer of young talent. As you take a look at his coaching profile, uh, got the Suns to the NBA Finals a couple seasons ago. We're up 2-0 in that series, but ended up losing to the Bucs in six games. One NBA Coach of the Year, now the new head coach of the Detroit Pistons. And for more, welcome in former first-round pick of the Wizards and Pistons legend Rip Hamilton, who helped Detroit win an NBA championship. Rip, Monty initially turned down Detroit, but tough to turn down a deal worth north of $70 million over six years. What's your reaction to the hiring of Monty Williams? Well, well first of all, it's, it's not 100% done yet, uh, just to make that clear. Uh, there's a lot of sources saying that they're, they're in talks right now, and it's trending that way. But uh, when you look at Monty, I mean, what he was able to do, especially in Phoenix, uh, right before he took the job, the Phoenix Suns only won 19 games, and he took that team from a 19-win team to a team that won 34 games the following season. So an increase of 50 games, I mean, 15 games. So with the Pistons, if he does get the job, he, his job is going to be uh, pretty much the same. He got to come in there and create a culture. He's known for coming into a system and creating a, uh, creating a culture uh, in the locker room, uh, he's he's always been familiar with all the guys across the league. But he, the best part about him, he's able to develop young talent. Yeah, to that point, Rip, you played against Monty Williams in the NBA, knowing him and then seeing him become a successful coach in the league. How is he able to develop and guide young talent? Well, again, when I played against him, he was a uh, he was a hard nosed type of guy, a guy that really got after it, especially on, on the defense end. And if you watch Monty's teams, like all his teams are really pre are pretty good on the defensive side of the ball. He's a guy that when I played against him, played against him, he didn't take any plays off. Every play that he was on the floor, he he, he went 100. percent And when you look at the teams that he coached, they they kind of did the same thing. But the best thing that I loved about him was his relationship with his point guard. Uh, when you talk to Chris Paul and and Chris Paul talks about him, he always say that Monty gives him a lot of. You know, Chris always gives Monty a lot of credit to allow him to lead on the floor, but also put him in the right spot. So when you're looking at the Detroit Pistons with a guy like Kay Cunningham, a guy that's uh, learning a position and understanding that, hey, the team is going to be uh, is going on, going to go the way he goes, especially on the floor. So uh, I think it's going to be a great marriage if they do get the deal done. All right. Well, you know how Detroit basketball has had some lean years. Um, after you've left, I mean, they have not had a winning season since 2015, 2016. They had the worst record in the NBA last season. They were 17 and 65. Um, do you think with Monty Williams on the bench, the Pistons get back to playing? And I want to shout out to your old PA announcer, Detroit basketball. <laughs> yeah, when well, you look at it, uh, Troy got to get this one right. I mean, uh, he took over the job. He's done a great job of really trying to uh, get, uh, get get rid of some bad contracts. Uh, got 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 some really good young talent on the team. Uh, very curious to see what he's going to do with the number five pick, which I know he's going to do some uh, probably great with it. Uh, so I just feels though that whoever he hires, if it's Monty, I think Monty's going to do everything possible to put the team in the right position and create that culture. I think creating a culture is bigger than anything else. Uh, the Eastern Conference is tough, and we all know that you can't win games just with young talent. So I, I think that this is just going to be an added piece uh, to, to what we got to achieve, uh, especially coming into this following year. But we still got uh, a lot of improvement uh, with the roster. Look for Troy to probably go out there and grab a couple veterans to add to this young nucleus. But if we get money, it's definitely in the right step. Gary Parrish, our, our, our colleague, has uh, the Pistons taking Jarris Walker, the super talented freshman out of Houston. What do you think about that fit, perhaps, for Monty Williams? Well, again, uh, Walker is a great young talent, a guy that can play multiple positions on the floor, uh, play more like the stretch four uh, out there in Houston. The one thing that everybody loves about him, that he's, he's a guy that can really space the floor. He can play on the perimeter. He's not just the typical big that got to play 
in the paint. So when you got a guy like that, especially when you look at the lead now where you, you got to play positionless basketball, he's the guy that can act, actually do that and play multiple positions on both ends of the floor. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see him because uh, being taught by Kelvin Sampson to play defense, you got to do that if you play for Houston. And uh, Monty Williams, certainly a, a big uh, proponent of playing defense uh, during his playing days and as a head coach. All right, so... You lived in Detroit. You played for Detroit. You helped Detroit to one of its greatest seasons in their franchise history. I mean, you are a Detroit legend. What advice, what would you tell Monty Williams going into the Pistons franchise to help him get off on the right foot? I know there's a lot of dollars to get him off on the right foot, but you having <laughs> that experience and that perspective. Well, just like, like I told you before, go in there and, and create a culture early because what we had when I was there, we had a culture. And the thing that we looked at was the guys that played before us, the Isaiah Thomas, the Joe Dumars, how they built that culture and built that team off of toughness and being defensive minded. So if I wanted to give him, if I, if I will say anything to him, go in there and be a defensive minded coach, which he already is, but get the young guys on board, keep them in a the locker room, watch as much film as possible because this is their time. We got a great backcourt with Cade and Jay and Ivy. Hopefully they get a full year, especially with Cade coming back off an of injury, I think it's going to be a lot of exciting things, especially in, in Detroit, Michigan. Well, we will uh, look forward to seeing Monty Williams and, and, and maybe uh, maybe you can go and, and give Monty some 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 pointers when you get to a Pistons <laughs> game and uh, we'll see you out there for that. Appreciate the perspective. Rip Hamilton Pistons legend here on CBS Sports HQ as Detroit hires Monty Williams as their next head coach. A mega deal for Monty Williams who initially turned him down now agreed to a reported deal worth north of 70 million bucks over six years. Deal still being finalized in Detroit. As you take a look at the NBA coaching carousel, the Bucks hiring Adrian Griffin, Nick Nurse to Philadelphia, Ime Udoka went to Houston, Monty Williams the latest going to Detroit. Now the Suns and Raptors looking for their next head coach.